Over the last couple of years, many of my peers and other young dentists have had a dental complaint of some sort. Sometimes I haven't been sure about what to do and quite frankly lost too much time and energy worrying about what's going to happen to them. Getting a complaint isn't a nice feeling. I vividly remember when I got my first complaint three months into VT. I don't think I ate, slept or did anything properly for a good few months. It literally took over my life. But after having experienced the complaints process and speaking to mentors now such as Dr. Lenda Cruz, the medical legal advisor, I think I would have, if I got that same complaint today, I would deal with it very differently. So I just want to share a couple of things that I've learned along the way which may also help you manage complaints more effectively. Number one, stay calm. Remember you can't please everyone all the time and patient complaints are on the rise. So expect to get a complaint at some point. Don't let it fluster you. Just because you've got a complaint, it's very important to remember that doesn't necessarily make you a poor clinician. Number two, be open and respect the patient's right to complain. Don't act defensively against complaints. Whilst we don't all welcome complaints, I think there's always something to learn from them. Number three, manage quickly. The key is to ensure that any expression of dissatisfaction by the patient is managed as quickly and easily as possible so the complaint doesn't have any legs. This can be as simple as saying sorry to the patient. Remember, saying sorry does not admit liability. Yes, it can be very difficult to say sorry, especially if the complaint is completely unjustified and you want to defend it on point of principle. But you know what? Principles lead to sleepless nights and are soon forgotten when you're in front of the GDC. So, in terms of the guidance, a verbal complaint needs to be responded to within 24 hours and a written complaint needs to be acknowledged within three days and then it's up to you and the complainant when the actual definitive response is given. But the sooner, the quicker, the better. Points of contact. So your practice should have a complaints manager to so speak to them as soon as possible, but importantly contact your indemnity organisation. The earlier you contact them, the more help they can give you at the early important stages. As well as providing that independent, less emotional view on the situation, they can also help you decide what to say to the patient and help you construct written responses. So get in touch with them as soon as possible. Number five, always aim for local resolution. By addressing the complaint by an explanation, an apology, remedial action, redress, whatever it takes to try and address it locally. Something which works quite nicely is just calling, asking patient to come to the practice so they can voice their concerns and speak to either you or another member of staff. Number six, act in accordance with the guidance of your defence organisation. If the complaint does escalate, don't panic, but cooperate with all the relevant bodies involved. Don't feel isolated, you can speak to your peers, you can speak to your colleagues. Um, they can give you a good perspective on the situation but then also do always follow the advice and guidance of your defence organisation. Number seven, throughout the process, keep a detailed record of the complaint plus all the responses you have given to it. Keep this in a separate file. You can refer back to it into your patient's notes, but it's best to keep both the complaint file and the patient's record separate. Number eight, now reflect. Once it's all over, take a deep breath and reflect on what's happened. Is there anything that you're going to change in your daily practice? Are there any lessons that you've learned that you want to share with the rest of your dental team or perhaps your peers? There's always something to learn, so make sure you reflect. I hope that was helpful. Try and stay positive and always remember there are so many people around you who can help support you through what can be quite a difficult experience.